Razor from Koifo, which he's already used a couple of times. Rise will deny himself to Roshan in the meantime. He wants top lane. You get the Slytherin Crush. It might be enough damage. There's the Pure Fight nice. Flames, and that will save him. Actually, Noya, he goes down to the tower. He got the salve off, but it wasn't in time, and Trixie somehow baits him into a death. Yeah, that defensive support kind of a style, but like their group up moment, they are so all in this draft. No tricks the top crush. lane. Will he finally die this time? The answer to that question is yes. Hesse oh. Joe will still take some tower hits, but he will survive. And that will be your first blood. So even though Nodori dies to the tower and he does split up his gold, pretty close to the right side of the tower. He probably saw the Oh, Rise Hacer and on Courier. Oh, he didn't go for it. He still wow. is going I for a Cinderin right now. And a Phonic Shield or Mist will do the job. And it will. He sees solo kill. I was mentioning, oh, his dad's not going to be able to do much with this, but now he finds his solo kill on Cinderin, which, by the way, Prop will smash as well. Fortune 10. Fairy fires up. He will survive. Unless they have a rolling boulder, but it looks like it's on cooldown for five seconds here. Hester Joe backing away. 15 wand charges. Trixie's still coming in. Hester Joe. So the recrush is not going to hit. Still has 17 wand charges. The max now. But Noya looks like he's going to be the one that's going to die here. They have a kick Noya too. swiftly dodged it. He's still in trouble, however. Firefly is done. So the recrush this time it will hit and rises nearby. Miss Coil. Fortune dead. Can Trixie get the kill? No. Rise rotates up a great TP, and now Yapser has to run. He does it three <laughs> seconds, and he's bringing the creep way with him. Has tried to no lasso for him yet. They're going to try to dive this sprint. There's the Fortune Dead oh, coming that's... out, but here we go. Yapser was about to walk in. Might have been spotted, might not have been. It looks like they don't know. Trixie's still taking a lot of damage. Wow, he just dies to pure firing flames. And an auto attack. Noah's like, easy. Yapsor walks out, and he gets the silence off so he can actually get back home. Good boulder smash away. Slurry Crush was actually used as he boulder smashed him. Which is pretty, he's a thousand I mean, gold pretty much above anyone else. Ring. He doesn't have a soul ring, so, you know, whatever. But still. Meanwhile, wrap around game. Yapsor finds the boulder smash. The sounds came in. But now there's the gust coming out of Yapsor. He doesn't have rolling boulder. He doesn't have the mana for it. You're fine. Flips fortunes and Yapsor has gone in too far. One more auto attack. Now he's got the rolling boulder. He might be able to get out of this alive. Might deny himself rolling boulder into the tree line. TP scroll's not there. Oh, he's got the coin blade. He's really though. trying to deny himself, but Noah looks like he might find him. Oh, wrong tree. Here, five flames is there. He oh, just no. didn't go for the creeps. He thought he could get away. Perhaps deny himself a little bit later, but he does end up giving a kill. Back for rotating in. That is a huge ward placement, and also something that maybe Escape should have known, given how aggressive that Imperial were playing. But they're still yeah, not. They're gonna probably walk up. know they, now. Do they not know that he's here? No, no, they know. They're they're like baiting. They don't they don't want like give away that they have the ward. But they should both know. There's the swarm coming in. The mana leak was taken. Oh, he actually used it afterwards. Meanwhile, Era taking some serious heavy hits from Ace and almost dies to it as well. The infest was there. He had rage. Not that he needed it. He's gonna infest inside the Dark Troll Summoner. It looks like the App Store finds himself a kill. Has the Joe's gonna fall. Noy, they've dived too deep in this top lane. He does have the false promise. Won't use it on himself. We'll try maybe oh, now. Deny the rune. No, no. It's a double kill for the App Store. Nice plays. Was not expecting that fight to happen top lane. Looks like Imperial just dived, dove too deep. And he's gonna die very quickly. So that won't be the case. Meanwhile, Radiant Scan. They're gonna try to find Baby Knight here. And the Gus, can it come in time? It cannot. Heat seeking missiles, the lasers, the magnetize. That is cool. a dead, dead, dead. That's a big kill. It's huge. Very big kill. Like, everything was actually looking so good. Points for that. Trixie, yeah, he'll be, be okay. Top lane, there's a bit of a dive. Hesta Joe, Manly coming out. He's going to get stunned. Here's the deep seeking missile. Rolling boulder in. Hesta Joe in trouble. Good fate to oh, nice. Now they get the stun on two. The silence before the lasso's up. Hesta Joe will turn. He'll use the Slytherin Crush. They're going to come in with AC. Once Trixie, amp damage is up. And with an auto attack, he'll find the kill. Meanwhile, Mark's doing a lot. Time lapse out. Still, Yaps are about to fall. He will survive. Illuminate. Doesn't hit rise. Just narrowly avoids it by being a bit further away. That is a lot of things to do on his checklist, to be fair. Oh, I mean, that's a drow draft, though. That's like, like you got to hit that timing, and you got you to go hard. You can't make a single mistake. Uh, but it is super powerful, right? Like, there's a reason why it's still such a nice pick, oh, even though it's Manly a little complicated. Caught him. The sentry's there in time. Rolling Boulder, they find the silence. He is dead. No, the false promise comes out. The laser's there. It still might be enough damage to magnetize on top of this. I think Ace may very heal, well heal. full heal. No, he actually is fine. Baby Knight. Now turning around, getting a kill. Yapser will fall. What a false promise from Noya. That was insane. And now Koink was going to fall. They get off the amp damage. They don't even need the Slytherin Crush. Three dead. And they find the fourth with Ace diving, killing Cinderin. Wow. That's all that it takes. Noya. Oh, that was dirty. Nice blink to Nitrixie. Impressive stuff. Top lane, Ace. Sentry's up. Doesn't have the Aegis. There's the Lincoln Sphere being broken. They have the silence. Can he get the time lapse off? No, he cannot. The Infest Bomb is there. Go. Very important kill go. coming out for Escape. They set that up for a long time. Meanwhile, Drow Range are gusting up and almost bringing down the Bat Rider, but doesn't have enough damage. Maybe not. No force available. The Hurricane Clock is up to 7. Heat Seeking. They're going to lose the Aegis. 
perhaps they're gonna lose more. He can force himself away in one second. Can he make it out in time? Like that is in some melee core. Same thing with your Weaver. They, they just don't have any way. If there's no slider, they can't kill Tinker. Uh, Gus on Sindarin is more than likely dead. They also have the Observer Ward up on high ground, which said Sindarin might have been trying to D-Ward. This is probably one of the most... This is the word I was talking about. This is one of the most important words you can... He's, like, deader than Abraham Lincoln. But that's how dead can he is. Can he TP out right now? Okay. I'm pretty sure... Nope. Yeah, there's the kick. We're fine. That would have oh, been Noia. That would have been impressive. Uh-oh. Noia is too far up. I don't know why they stayed. He's probably dead here. Boulder Smash and an auto attack will bring him down. Yes, you do have the Weaver Split Pushing, but he doesn't have his Desolator, so it's not going as quickly as he could. He has a Dragon Lance, by the way. No boots either, which, whatever. Yeah, he's, he's been bootless the whole game with a clown. I mean, that's just like, oh. I'm not a fan of that build. I don't know. Me neither. I like the boots. But it, it is a slot. That's the more important you're, thing. You're not really. Shikuchi to every. I mean, there's a very long uptime for Shikuchi, but it's, it's not. Oh, so three cards. They do have the best out. Laser comes through, blows away the slaughter. Ace forced to time lapse. If you had boots now, this would be a lot easier to get away, you know, Ace. He's still probably. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So they. Instead, they're pushing the envelope. They're getting kills. They see in good scenarios just from pushing out the waves and getting information. So uh, looking very nice for them. Trixie. Trixie doesn't have a four staff. He's probably dead. Wake yep. Up, yeah. Easy. Yeah, that's nice a nice pick. Meanwhile, Aero's gonna get caught, but here comes Quick, but Laser has to joke, cannot afford to die again. Open wounds, he's got Splitter and Crush, they have the rage up, they get off the Fates Edict, it looks like it was actually the Euphotic Shield coming in. Meanwhile, they want Aero, and Aero's gonna try to man fight against Ace. Good blinding light, they have the time lapse if they want it. He's gonna keep chasing for now, Quick can come back in, he's gonna keep it in the tier 2 tower. I don't think they can chase further now that he's got the rage up, and it looks like he will get away. Sindarin is an easy kill if you can find him, it. it's not so easy. He needs to get oh. a couple more auto attacks. Now there's going to be the heat seeking missiles. They get off the face seeking as well. Arch is there doing some nice damage. Sinner walks out and dies for the damage <laughs> promptly. That's uh, unfortunate. Oh, Aero no, Sinner, still why? so low. Uh, they certainly but... did. <laughs> there's a little you bit of a leg up here. Absolutely right, Trent. Some things did happen. Good. Uh, Boulder smash. Magnetize coming out as well. Last go up. They'll find the kill on the baby knight down for 65. It's time to peace out if you're Imperial. Rolling Boulder is up, Rise Mike, you caught has borrowed time. Not in time as the heat seeking missiles and laser blow him away. TP coming through from the Oracle to make sure he can get out. Ace will eliminations from the Earth Spirit. Um, um you can like target the tinker from a decent distance, but it's kind of a weird remember, item. You also have to remember what hero they're up against in the life stealer. Uh-oh, Trixie, you've gone too far, my friend. Hesse Joe finds an easy kill. They saw him coming over with the ward. I didn't think they were gonna find him on the high ground though. And this is the perfect time to aged and then I don't know, True. it's weird. And like your drow already has one. I feel oh, like they're they are lacking that damage. Scan. They know where Yapsor is. Slithering crush being fest out. Slaughter, not again! Hurricane Plight coming out of the Yapsor. There's the Lincoln's being broken from Koifa. It's a one for one. Now they're gonna turn. They want Koifa. He doesn't have a four step. Gus doesn't connect. Ace is looking for Koifa, but nice point coming out. Swarm still won't connect another point time lapse away. They really oh, want oh, the kill. Oh, oh, so they're in crush, they found him. And they get the bash off as well. Koifa will finally fall. Did he, he buy anything so before dying? I don't think he... Oh, he bought his point booster. Thank God. I, I know, he's like dead. going almost as fast as them. Still, they might lose this melee racks. They're actually looking to back up now. They're going to invest. The apps are going to get recalled. Last was up. They found it on Baby Knight. He does the ages. He can force himself away and will do so. Now they're going to jump in. Slaughter couldn't get his slithering crush off. Now magnetized. The way is low. He'll fall. False promise not in time. Yes, they do take the melee racks. Baby Knight going to work on a Trixie, but he's going to lose his ages. Now the laser coming out. Here's that Aghanim Scepter. Imperial have to get away. Baby Knight will not be so lucky to silence. And just so much damage means that he's dead. Yes, they do take the melee racks. It's a bit of gold going their way, but they lose a couple of heroes. Sorry, buddy. That is, it was there. Oh. We got a Dagon. We got we some zaps from Quick. Oh, no, Cinder. No. Not this. That's a again. Weaver again. No. He's got a four staff. All right. Well, that's that. Although, not worth it. That, uh, is, that, a that one is not shot? worth it. That They rotated very quickly. Like, all, there was a go down. He's dead for 46 with no buyback. Luckily, Roshan is not up. It is not up for a period of time. Tier 1 tower might be taken down. That's a pretty good kill. Now, silence. A little bit late. They have the amplified damage. Era, I don't think you can fight this, buddy. That amp damage coming up from Hesse Joe and Baby Knight's right click. His auto attack's doing too much. Quick for force to back up after popping some margin. He this. This will be huge. Baby Knight walking up. They're going to find the lasso. Forces him up. He's going to get put on the high ground. Hurricane Pike himself to the low ground, though. It might not have been the best play coming up from taking Trixie. Now that Lasso is down, there's the Dyer just need well. to reset. They yeah. should just group up. Because, like, everything just got wasted by the Radiant. There's no point diving into that. Yeah, this is exactly what, what you need to do. Just there? back just up and just chill. 
Yeah, like Firefly and Lasso being down there are so huge. They're gonna smoke themselves up, or they're gonna wrap around the other direction. Perfect play side. by Dyer. And now Yapsor escape gaming. They probably have to back up. If they don't back now, this is dangerous. Dyer scan. They know pretty much where everyone is. Trixie, he's behind the tree lights for the recurse. They'll find him. There's going to be the, the swarm, and he's done. That's the That's gem, gem down. And now Sinner might need to be next, but he does get off the mana leak in time. Meanwhile, heading into the Roche pit. Yapsor Imperial just played that fight. That was so perfect. Like, you couldn't have asked for anything better there. They, they come in, they screw up the lasso, you just back up the smoke, you grab. Oh, it's day on day in action. Into. Cinderin is gone. See you later, buddy. Day on day. Looks like it's going to be Yapsor's next goal. He'll use himself for a moment, but the rolling boulder's not going to be there. He does drop the magnetize. It'll be a bit annoying for Imperial. Uh, but two kills after securing the Aegis. The, the Koig the Tinker for the most part, but sometimes you need to be a little greedy. Hurricane Pike from Hera. The refresh, good race in time. S Joe, however, he's got to maybe use his cheese. Probably not going to get off in time. Alright, easy. Nice. And they buy a gem right after. Yeah, you also have an Aghanim Sifter coming out for Rise eventually. However, even that has been thought he does have a BKB, might use it now. It looks like he will. The false promise will come out. They fight this blast was there. Give the Ghost Sifter coming out. Just make sure he can't take too much right click damage. S Joe coming back in Trixie. About to fall. And we'll get the kill. Meanwhile, it looks like they will keep up the Drow Ranger alive. S Joe looking for more Sinner. That's not what you want to do. He walks into Ace. Finds a couple of auto attacks. Gets the right click off. Good Yule Scepter so that he can't chase down. Has a Yap Sword. Looks like he will. It looks like they kind of sniffed that one out too. Uh-oh. Koikva in the tree line. There's the miscoil. They've been spotted. Koikva can't afford to die here. The laser doing some serious damage, but the borrowed time is there. He does have buyback. Luckily enough for him, but still. They will find a bottom engagement too. Here's the Drow Ranger. Now going to work. Boss promises in time. They get off the bash as well. Era has to invest in the Absor, but he's gonna fall. And Era now trying to go into Joe. Double oh, force away. Steps. These saves are incredible. Jumps back in with a Slither Crush. Turns it around. Pops the BKB. Sindarin, the only one alive. All of a sudden, it's starting to unravel for escape gaming. Has to show Slithering Crush. Amp damage. See you later, Sin. One more auto attack. Should do the job. Forced to buy back his Koifa, he will down, bring down Hester Joe as well as the Oracle. Koifa dancing around, doing what he can. The heat seeking this is Dagon Laser. But again, no buy. Mm -hmm. There's still some work to be done here for, for Escape. Oh, not again. Alright, well, we'll see you later, Sin. It's been nice to meet you. The story of Cinderin. Please help, there's a bug on me. Your fours are gone. Now Trix is getting the sounds good. Go set the apps are still. Slithery Crush is gonna be on to three. They'll jump out. Hester Joe actually, he went a little bit too quickly. They weren't ready for it on the Imperial side. Force back, they'll bring the Drow Ranger into the well, but blinks out immediately. Trixie now taking too much damage. The gust is there. Trixie will fall first. Nobody did from Imperial or even close to dead. And this will almost certainly be game. Quick look, good laser. Maybe not. They're turning it around. Maybe not buying back. Era trying to fight this. Time lapse. BKB is going toe to toe with Era. Invest inside. They dropped the magnetize. Nobody dead yet. Now they actually burst down Rise. Using the laser and Dagon to do the job. They're actually pushing them out. Ace as well as the crew backing away. They did buy back of the Drow Rangers, so they need to be careful. Drow's not quite here yet. Now actually turns around looking for Yapsor. Silent stuff. Does have his Ghost Scepter for Yapsor. Yule Scepter. They will find Baby Nut. He can't afford to die. He has no buyback. Forced away. He gets to the high ground. And now he turns his attention to Yapsor, who just narrowly survives. But the Slurry Crush will help him fall as the gust comes through. And Air getting chunked down. They almost had it, but GG is called. And the Ancient is taking some hits. And that'll be it, Trent. Game one goes to Imperial. Wow. Turns out 4-4 four, four staffs are pretty good against Lifestealer. Who would have yeah. thought? Yeah, you yeah. were questioning that hurricane.